Welcome back. Here's a full circle moment. A man who grew up in Beltshoover and used to go to the Carnegie Museums of Art and Natural History for art classes is now back at the museum with his own show as a featured artist. Dr. Sharif Bey is an artist and art professor. Our Christine Sorensen walked with Bey through his exhibit and he shares how the museum inspired him to become an artist. For Sharif Bey, the Carnegie Museums of Art and Natural History are a second home. He began coming here for art classes in fourth grade and continued as a teenager. So to return as an artist with his own show is overwhelming. Here I am, a kid who grew up with rel relatively limited means, a kid of color, and, and I'm, I'm exhibiting in an institution that kind of emerged out of the philanthropy of one of the United States' first millionaires. I grew up in this museum, and, and I like to point out when people ask that, you know, you can walk from one of my pieces to a Van Gogh, you know, in 20 paces from here. And I think that, 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 that demystifying what it means to be an artist, what it means to have a career in the arts, what it means to find fulfillment is, is the, the, the narrative that I want to come out of someone experiencing this exhibition. Between art classes, Bay would wander the galleries of both museums and says that downtime had as much influence as the classes themselves. How did the Carnegie Museum of Art and Natural History influence you and your art now? So this was one of the objects that, that evoked a lot of curiosity for me as a child. And, and I didn't read a whole lot about it, but I, it, it, it created a sense of wonder about you know, the, uh, you know, where this object came from how does it function, um, you know, and that mystery was something that I, I later came back to. The exhibit, Sharif Bay Excavations, features his original work side by side with pieces from the museums, like this African sculpture, which clearly inspired his clay vessels impaled with nails and broken china. Bay used actual bone molds from the Carnegie Museum of Natural History to make what became a symbolic necklace in his series of oversized necklace forms, some as large as 11 feet. Bay also lets generations of totems play off one another. These totems, his own father carved from wood as a child, are side by side with clubs from Brazil from the Natural History Museum, both of which inspired him to make these clay sculptures. Pittsburgh is part of Bay, so it's natural that his hometown comes through in his art. This is uh, the Boilermaker series, which kind of uh, references kind of industrial Pittsburgh in a certain way, but also references the famous beer cocktail, the Boilermaker, um, as this is a drinking vessel in, in its inception. Um, it has lots of different kinds of metal, but also different kinds of industrial clay shards added to it. Pittsburgh is proud of its champions, and that includes in the world of art as well. Christine Sorensen, KDKA News. You can see Sharif Bay excavations at the Carnegie Museum of Art through the beginning of March.